studying English in the Urals on this day, the first Sunday of Great Lent, the triumph of Orthodoxy. Today, the Orthodox Church celebrates the triumph of the Orthodox faith over uh, various heresies, and especially the iconoclast heresy. The iconoclasts uh, thought that the Orthodox Christians uh, were worshiping idols, not praying before icons. The Orthodox Christians, when we pray before icons, we don't uh, worship uh, the gold or the paint or the wood of the icon. We uh, pray to the person uh, whose image is on the icon. To Christ, to the Mother of God, and to the saints. St. John Chrysostom says that icons are something to remind us of the presence of heaven in our lives. The presence of God, the Mother of God, and the saints here on earth in our lives. When we pray uh, before an icon, the, the image of uh, the saint helps us raise our minds and hearts to the eternal realm. So on this day, when we celebrate the triumph of orthodoxy, and next time when we gather to pray in church or when we pray at home, let us remember what the icon symbolizes. It symbolizes the fact that God is present in our life. God is present with his mother and his saints in our lives. They are active participants in our lives. This is a reminder that they are present. And let us also remember that these icons are windows into heaven. They raise our minds and thoughts to good things, to the eternal realm. I would like to wish you all a very peaceful, great Lent, and may God bless you, may God bless your struggles during this Lent, and may we all become better people, better Christians. And may this fast bring us closer to God, and hopefully as a result, we will have a joyous Pascha, and not just a joyous Pascha, but a, a Pascha which will bring us renewal, renewal and strength. Amen. <laughs>